Welcome back. So for a while, I've been wondering whether ChatGPT and Gemini can actually answer research level maths problems. We've made a couple of videos on it, but today we're actually going to be seriously putting to the test on an actual problem that I've come across in my research that I haven't got an answer to. And we're going to be giving it to ChatGPT plus the like $20 a month one and Gemini Pro, which I've got a one year subscription for because I gave them my student email address. It's going to be a roller coaster of emotions because having now gone through the whole process, it's actually really surprising how it turned out. And I really wouldn't have been able to predict it at the beginning. So obviously there's a lot of hype around AI at the moment. I mean, companies are getting huge valuations over this stuff and evidently it's an incredibly useful tool. And given these valuations, I'm sure they would like us to believe that it's here to replace a lot of very technical jobs. Now the only job that I can actually test on the channel is doing research level maths because I'm currently doing a PhD in random matrix theory so I thought why not show what it's actually like to do these problems if you're using ChatGPT to do research at a PhD level and so that you can actually see whether it really is able to do maths on its own. So we're going to boot up the laptop, we're going to ask loads of prompts, go into serious detail with Gemini and ChatGPT and we're going to try and solve some maths problems. I've been signed out of Gemini which is really quite annoying. I don't know why it does that. It seems to sign me out all the time. I'll be honest, I haven't had a great experience with Gemini. Um, and maybe I shouldn't even say this because the YouTube algorithm's probably gonna shadow ban the video because I'm saying that Gemini is shit. This is Gemini, and then we've got ChatGPT. And so this is a conversation that I've been having with ChatGPT for a while. Okay, so this was a reprompt. I'd actually had a conversation from before and then I asked it to basically summarize the whole conversation into one prompt so that I could uh, extend the context effectively, but it stops working after a while. So the main idea really is to take a formula that we have and to try and write it in a different way. So it's a bit like this thing here. So you want this, this thing to be written in terms of this thing. Now this H uh, instead of the K is much nicer and there's loads of machinery uh, in order to work it out. It's called a Hankel determinant. Uh, so this debt means determinant. It's like a volume in some, in some space. And anyway, so, so after all of this long conversation, so, so I do actually talk with ChatGPT quite a lot. And sometimes I even like, like this will be throughout multiple days. Um, the fact is, I've, what I've basically done is I've asked it to then resummarize um, this question to give to Gemini, which possesses the same problem. And I basically want it to ask Gemini as a question, uh, this same Thing. And I'm actually going to ask ChatGPT the same thing as well on extended thinking mode. So I'm going to copy this prompt over here. Uh, we're going to do a new conversation. I'm just going to show you how to do extended thinking mode. <clears throat> so what you do is um, you might be over here and normally you would go into thinking mode and you'd be like, oh, cool. If you were on thinking mode, you could click this arrow and then go into extended thinking mode. I didn't know about this. Maybe everyone already <laughs> knows about this, but I didn't. Uh, so, so I'm hoping that someone out there doesn't know about it and will, who uses ChatGPT Plus, who will then use it. And then we're going to give it to ChatGPT. And then we're going to give the same one to Gemini. And I'm going to show you presumably in real time how Gemini is not as good as ChatGPT. Um, same prompt, same question, same information. So at least on the ChatGPT side, the final answer looks pretty nice. Um, but the justification may be, it's like a lot of information for me right now, like this would take me time to actually process. So, so I would definitely not write this up uh, in a document because it's not really justified. It doesn't really seem, it's kind of pulled it out of thin air. Um, but in any case, the formula seems good. So, so let's give a little try um, to Gemini. So, so again, immediately, oh, what is this? Like, what is this formula's the answer? Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, even if the maths is good, which sometimes um, it will show the maths, like, I can't use this, like, I can't, I'm not read, I'm not gonna read LaTeX code. So immediately it's useless, in, in a way. So basically it's just displaying it as text, uh, which is really, really useless um, for maths. Like, I'm not reading that. It's a bit like someone's answered a test, but it's illegible. Um, okay, it's not technically illegible. If I, if I wanted to, I could go compile this code, but I'm not going to do that because uh, ChatGPT has already done it properly. So, so I'm going to give it another chance. I have been negative to Gemini in this video. I understand that. But that's just because my experience I, hasn't been very good with it. This is what this is what you would expect actually. Like this is the same as the cases that I've 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 done. So this is cool. Where is Mew? So I'm gonna so I'm gonna look for the same thing um, to check that it's done it right. I don't understand how it's so, so it's using Mew here. It's using Mew here. It hasn't used Mew here. So, so it's introducing Mew in this equation, and yet it's not defining what Mew is. How can you do that? That's not right. You should have a definition of mu if you're going to use it as a symbol. Maybe it says it in the beginning. So I am going to ask it as a separate prompt, but 
this counts to me as a bad thing. You are correct, Asrut. My apologies, it was buried in the derivation. The definition of mu was provided in your own, in task six. Let's have a look at task six. Is it gaslighting me? Is it gaslighting me? No, 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 mu, no, mu, no, mu. I am being gaslit by Gemini. It's gaslighting me. I, it never said. So it doesn't know, but that that's like really poor form mathematically to introduce a symbol for something and not define it explicitly because you're relying on the reader to have followed every single step of your proof um, in order for, to, to even understand what's happening. Like You just wouldn't do that. Uh, even I know that as a PhD student. Like, you don't have to be a particularly good uh, mathematician to, to understand that. Now, after all of this, what I never would have predicted, and which I've only just found out now after spending a day actually verifying all of the stuff that ChatGPT and Gemini gave, and the crazy thing is that both of them are wrong. So I kind of tested it on Mathematica, which basically is a programming language where you can simulate formulae to check that the two sides are equal, if you like. That's one of the things you can do. You can do lots of things with Mathematica, it's great. Going over this in a conversation, I actually stuck with ChatGPT for the day. Um, I kind of kept, kept persisting saying that, no, this is wrong because it doesn't agree with this well-known formula from a paper that, um, yeah, f f from a well-established paper, which is definitely right because it's not a, you know, AI hallucination. And it was like, no, no, you're wrong. It, it can't agree with that formula because obviously they can't agree. ChatGPT was wrong. Anyway, I persisted for, for a really long time and basically somehow using some of the techniques that he had used, uh, we developed basically what it had given into the correct thing. So what I think is really interesting is that there is something true in the formula that both of the AI gave, um, but it's not there. So without someone to actually check whether it was right, if you just kind of put this this proof um, that it gave online, it would be 100% wrong. To some extent, does make AI 100% useless if it's on its own. There's no way you would allow that to go through in any kind of technical job or any kind of research. You would never. Just when you need it, I'm gonna run out of battery. This is my light. It ran out. So. Um, anyway, so I guess I've got no light now. It was still really useful for me to actually go through and like try and solve this problem. But I don't think that's what people are really expecting. At least, you know, these big institutions that are putting huge amounts of money into AI and obviously the big companies that are putting incredibly large amounts of money. I don't think that they're kind of pricing in AI as a tool that someone's going to use alongside their own research. They're really trying to have it be something that's independent um, and that doesn't need verifying. Next time I come across a problem, I'll just do the same thing again and we can see whether it improves over time. Uh, but so far, uh, definitely not usable on its own, but very usable um, and I would highly recommend using it, especially in this extended thinking mode if you've never done it before because it's really, really, really good. And the ideas that it's come up with were, were good. The justifications that it's using, I believe, are good. I still haven't completed the proof of this identity, so we've actually, um, so I've actually managed to get an identity which does agree with all of these known results. Uh, which I need to prove, but sometimes I think knowledge you develop it in, in steps. It's not always a continuous progression to the answer. Like sometimes I find you might get like a point here of knowledge and a point further, a lot further down the line, and even like you might even get the final, final answer or some aspect of it, and you kind of start like the knowledge kind of spreads from all of those nodes until you've got a continuous like logical progression uh, that gets you the thing that you're looking for.